The Master Chief is my favorite character of all freaking time, baby. And today, at the ripe age of 29, yikes, I will be making a full Master Chief suit of armor from Halo Infinite completely from scratch. So on surface level, this build seems uh, pretty straightforward, right? Wrong! For the non-builders out there, when you build armor, you typically use some sort of templates as a guide. But not this guy. This guy has a challenge to only use these hands and these eyeballs to turn this pile of foam into a fully finished suit of Master Chief armor. <sighs> but here's the sketchy part. I haven't scratch built anything in a couple years, so my confidence confidence level is a little nah. This build is going to be a challenge, and here's the hoping that building is uh, just like riding a bike. But Brad, quick question for you: Why Halo and why Master Chief? Well, to some people, Halo isn't just a game. Why is Halo so much more of a cultural phenomenon than any other video game in the world? To some, Halo represents a part of their childhood, and to others, Halo represents right now. Take me on, baby! I waited so long! <gasps> Oh, oh my god, they He looks so good. So many people care on Halo Nation is huge. Finish the fight, man. We gotta finish the fight. For me, as a kid, I would sneak over to my neighbor's house to play Halo so my mom wouldn't know. That was before I was rated teen, kids. But smashing the covenant with my friends was exhilarating, and I loved everything about Master Chief. His strength, his voice, and most importantly, his look. I was obsessed. So much so that I decided to figure out how to make a suit of armor of my own. And with the help of the 405th, I made this. It didn't look very good, but with some encouragement, my building didn't stop there. Next, I made this one, and this one, and this one! And as I continued to build, my projects progressively got better and better. My fascination with Master Chief got me into costuming at a very, very young age. And over the course of many years, it helped us turn this channel into what it is today. And now, with the new release of Halo Infinite, I think it's time to make the newest version of Master Chief. Okay, so, a couple videos ago, I completed Master Chief's helmet from Halo Infinite, and an additional 20 for you guys. And we have 10 more available right now on our shop, if you have room on your shelf. And these helmets looked absolutely fantastic. I am extremely proud of how these turned out. Now, the challenge here is to make a suit of armor that is worthy to be topped by this helmet. Alrighty, for this suit, a goal of mine is to make it as accurate as possible. Because I'm building this armor from scratch, the first thing to do is find a crap ton of reference pictures showing each angle of every piece of armor. That way, I can reference the entirety of each piece of armor with a click of a button. And now I have way too many pictures of Master Chief on my computer. I'm not weird, you're weird. Here are the materials for this challenge. EVA foam, hot glue, razor blades, a Dremel, and a heat gun. And just mash them all together to make old Master Chief, right? Well, kinda, actually, yeah. <laughs> with accuracy in mind, the first thing to do is create the general shape of every piece of armor. Proportions are so, so important, and getting them right at the beginning is a must, starting with the torso. To make the base of each part, I used half-inch EVA foam and hot glue, cutting and tweaking as I went to ensure the shape was correct. On this stage, it is very, very okay to make mistakes. I know I made a lot of them. See, look. We just need to figure out a creative way to cover them up. More on that later. I'm not gonna lie, though. This stage of the project took absolutely forever. The better part of two months. I mean, I did obsess over the torso itself for almost two weeks. <laughs> you know, sometimes I can be way too picky, but sometimes it absolutely does pay off to be picky. And a perfect example of that is this video, because while you watch me be picky, it is time to thank our sponsor SolidWorks for sponsoring this video. SolidWorks is the industry standard for 3D modeling softwares, and they're the best for a reason. I learned how to 3D model on SolidWorks back in college, and I used it in industry, and now that I'm doing YouTube, I still use SolidWorks. Oh god, I wish I could show you what I'm making with SolidWorks right now, but I can't. Can I show just maybe a little bit? Uh, but in the past, a huge barrier to get started with SolidWorks has been the price. And the solution to this problem is 3D experience SolidWorks for makers. Now you can get the engineering industry standard software for only $9.99 a month. And as an engineer, I know the price of a professional version of this license, and it's a lot more. But SolidWorks is taking their software and packaging it in a way that we as makers can use it in Excel. SolidWorks, thank you for hearing our prayers and making something for us. If you like 3D design or want to get into building, 3D modeling is the perfect place to start. If you click on the link in my description right now, you will get an additional 20% off. So to start your maker journey, click on the link in my description and download SolidWorks for makers today. Okay, we have successfully created the base shape of every piece of armor, and it's looking pretty good. Except for all the nasty cuts and shims that I used to get the shapes right. Yeah, these don't look very nice. But hey, give me a break. I haven't done this in a while, okay? And it's slowly coming back to me. But even so, we still have these nasty looking cuts, which is a problem. But we have a solution, and that solution is called layering. Now, layering is where I take thin sheets of foam, cut parts out, and strategically layer them on the base model. This will let us layer up the details and also cover up all my mistakes. Because I'm building this completely from scratch, it is important to compare each detail to the reference pictures, which is very tricky. If I mess something up, I have to rip it off and start all over. But if I do it right, this is where it all starts coming together. 
And then in there, my rusty building hand slowly started moving. My fingers remembered how to cut and how to glue. I was getting the hang of this building thing. It was indeed like riding a bike. Thank God, Lord God, thank you. And after two months of layering, this is what I have. Next, I gave each part a brush with a heat gun in order to prepare it for the most important part of this project, you subscribing! Ah, uh, just kidding, it's paint. But still, we are trying to pass my arch nemesis, aha, in subscribers. So subscribe today and join the movement. But before we paint, a step that often gets overlooked is the creation of the undersuit. And for this one, I needed it to be perfect. So I scoured Amazon to find cloth parts to fill in the gaps between the armor pieces. I found elbow pads, gloves, a hockey girdle, a padded shirt, and a scuba hood. They look the part. All the links are in the description if you want them for your own armor. All I did was add a spine and an app piece and I called the undersuit good to go. And now it's time to finish off this project with the hardest thing to get right, paint. Thankfully, I dealt with figuring out the correct color for Chief in a different video, but we ended up with a magnificent mixture of FX plaid paints, which is a flexible paint made specifically for foam. This is my first time using this paint. I usually use plastic dip and spray paint, so <laughs> I was a little nervous. Of course, I didn't want to ruin months and months of work with some garbage paint, right? So I tested it out first on the hand plates and it turned out pretty good. See how flexible this is? This is way, way better than spray paint. Spray paint cracks and crinkles when foam is compressed. And FX Plaid bends right with the foam. This paint will make it so this suit lasts even longer, which is huge. To apply the paint, like I did with my helmets, I tried using my airbrush. But quickly I learned that applying paint to hard surfaces is way different than applying it to foam. Now, because foam is porous, I needed to apply the paint super thick. And with this absolutely microscopic paint cup on my airbrush, it would have taken me a million years to properly cover this suit. Slight exaggeration, but you get it. I needed a new plan. And that is using the most complicated tool known to man. Ah, just kidding. It's just a paintbrush. that the base green and black have been applied, it is battle damage time! First, I gave the armor a watered down black and brown wash to dull the green. Then I put some thicker black and brown in the crevices where dirt would naturally build up. And to top it all off, I did some silver dry brushing to simulate metal on the edges of the armor. And just like that, six months of literally creating something from nothing was condensed into a really short video. <laughs> this is the final product. We're talking away I don't know what I'm to say Today's another day to find you shine away. I'll be coming for your love, okay? And after six months of hard work, I successfully completed building Master Chief's armor from Halo Infinite completely from scratch. Guys, I am so proud of how this turned out. This was a pretty hard build, but also extremely rewarding. And I am so happy that you made it to the end. So thank you so much for watching. Comment below what you want to see Chief do next. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>